babe. What happened? I am finished. <sighs> babe, I'm finished. I've lost everything. Oh, God. I'm, I'm now down to, to zero. Oh, God. <sighs> mm. Talk to me. I don't understand. Okay. You know, business is all you know of. They're gone. I lost it all. I'm now down to zero, baby. Right now, and I'm I'm what? Nothing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God. Ah. Be strong, be strong, be strong, be strong, be strong, be strong, be strong. Ah, babe, everything is gone. I don't know why. Mm. iPad and have some rest. Huh? Okay, I just I just sent the 15th application this month. I just heard this one works. I'm just babe. Just put your trust in God. Him alone can salvage this situation for us, okay? Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Come here. Be good. I'm thinking of joining you in your clothes selling business. What? <laughs> you are not serious, are you? I'm dead serious. Besides, I'm bored at home. Well, how can you possibly think that I will? Babe, please. Okay, just let me do this. Besides, I might attract more customers when they see me around. Let me get useful for once again, please. I really need this. What do you think?
Angela, why would you introduce me to your neighbors as your sales boy? I don't understand. Are you not my salesman? My friend, I'm your husband. Oh, please don't even start. And you're even treating me like a trash before your customers. Look, I told you before that I do not like the idea of you following me there. You should have listened to me instead of insisting. Ah, I know. You know what? I'm done. I'm done going there with you. Better, oh! Better! Make you not go there. Go use your bad luck. Spoil my market for me. Nonsense. What? What did you say? You heard me. Bad luck. Angela. You're going out. Yep, obviously. Um, well, okay, honey. Um, you know, since what happened happened, uh, I've been looking for a business to dive into, mm. and I want you to give me like two million naira for. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I should give you what? Two million naira. Uh, you are not serious, are you? <laughs> Angela, I'm not asking you to loan me money. I'm asking you to give me two million naira from the money that I've been giving to you to keep for me. And what was that money for? Money I'm supposed to use to expand my Okirika business into a boutique. Huh? <laughs> Oga, I don't have any money to give you. Angela, this is not a joke. Honestly, you're beginning to annoy me. Can't you see I'm not doing anything anymore? And whose fault is that? Whose? If you were smart and wise enough, you should have reasoned well before, before investing in that business that took all your money. But of course, you are not wise and smart enough now. And now you want me to give you the money I've been keeping for my business. <laughs> Oga, I know they give you she she. Angela. What kind of joke is that? See, uh, Philip, uh, honestly, I wish I'm joking. I, I can't recognize my wife anymore. She has changed completely. Philip, can you believe that she allowed me to stay at home doing nothing? But she has the money that can set me up, that can use and bounce back. Bro, do you know one thing I hate you for? You are too calm and gentle to my liking. Yes, I swear, if I were you, I would strangle her to death and get my money. Uh, it is your money. Come on, Philip. I'm not the, the kind that beats up a woman. I'm not. I, I can't do that. You know me better than that. And that is why she keep on reducing you to nothing. Yes. That is why she keep on treating you the way she's treating you, bro. Wake up! Listen, nobody is going to give you shit shit. Things are hard as I'm talking to you, and you and I know it. Uh, okay, I, I know. That's, wow. that's why I came to you as my friend. If you can loan me you know, small, just small money. Let me, let me start up something. Oga? Huh? You are on your own. Go back to your wife and get your money. Don't expect me to help you. She can help you. Go back to her. Philip is new. I know now. Uh, no, sir. I know. Go back to your wife, bro.
No, sir! Kill that girl. What are you doing with my phone? Don't you ever in your life touch my phone again. Angela. Four million naira. Angela, you have four million naira in your account. And you refuse to give me two million, Angela. Mm. I should give you two million now to go and squander, right? Never. Okay, Angela, so I'm not a squanderer. Is it not obvious? Eh? Tell me, how can a businessman, a man who calls himself a smart businessman, invest everything he has in one business? How? Now you've lost everything you have with your bad luck. You now want me to give you money, right? <laughs> Never. You are not seeing a dime from me, and that's some period. And for the last time, do not ever touch my phone again. Angela. Ah. You say don't enter. Hey. Her Majesty. Breakfast is served. Oh. You made breakfast. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's still thoughtful of you. <laughs> As if you know I'll be spending so much time at my shop today. I'm opening new bills and sorting them out is really stressful and time consuming. I got you, baby. How was it? <laughs> That's so romantic of you. Okay. <laughs> Let me touch. Like it. Mm. It's really nice. You know, I almost forgot you're such a good cook. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should be doing the cooking henceforth so that you'll be useful in this house. Don't you think so? <laughs> um, babe. Hmm? You know, I'm a man. Babe, why not help me get back on my feet? So I can restate my position in this house as a man. Please. So this is why you made this breakfast? No, huh? no, 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 hmm? no, it's not. So we can talk about me giving you money. Hmm? <laughs> Oga, you are not getting shishi from me. Not this time around. Not even any time in the future. In fact, I have lost my appetite. I don't want to talk about this. Babe. Babe. An Angela. is he asking for? Two million naira. Not bad if you ask me. Huh? Where am I supposed to get the money? Really? But Amaka, you know about my plans of expanding my business to a boutique at least. Something like this. Eh? And you want me to go and remove money from the one I've been keeping? Besides, there's no guarantee of him using the money wisely. But you still have to help him. He's your husband. You know what? I'm done with this conversation. Thank you. I don't get it. When will you sell the cars? Well, I 
had to complete the money you promised me to expand my business with. Wait, wait, you had to sell my car and yours to complete what? What are you talking about? I didn't sell my car. My car is at the mechanic. I had to sell yours since you're not making money out of it. Tell me, what reasons do you even have to drive? Are you making money or what? Angela! Angela, you're getting on my nerves. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me is that my dream of owning the biggest boutique in this town has been dashed by your carelessness and a wise approach towards money management. Nosa, you failed woefully. And I won't let that kill my dream. Do you get it? Yes, I sold your car. The money is already in my account. Yet it's not even enough for the kind of boutique I want to start up. I still need money. I need more money. So if you're going to borrow from me, please go ahead and borrow. I hope there is food in this house. Dear God, I still remember my promise to you never to hit my wife for any reason. And I will continue to keep that promise. But she's not making things easy for me. How can I control this urge to beat her up? God, help me. I'm going out and um, here is the list of food items I want you to buy from the market and prepare something delicious for me to eat when I'm back. So I'll just keep them here. Wait, 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 wait. Angela, wait. Angela, you've not greeted me. As if that's not all, you're giving me a list of things to do. I beg, it's too early to have any conversation with you. By the way, why should I greet you? So that you'll transfer your bad luck to me this morning, right? I beg, here is the list. And the money too. Make sure you buy everything I wrote on this list, the way I wrote it. Wait, 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 wait. Angela. Angela, are you turning me into a cook in my own house? Eh, hey, no, no. So that you will at least be useful in this house. Instead of lazing around all the time doing nothing. See? I cannot suffer and provide money and still come back and cook for you. It's not possible. Do as I said, if you want to leave. Ah. No, sir. Who do you? Can't you see you are now being useful in this house? Hmm? Your soup is delicious. Thanks. You're welcome. The landlord was here. Mm. Who does he want? He wants his rent. I hope you settled him. Angela, how am I supposed to do that? It's clearly I don't have money. Mm -hmm. So, he should now throw us out. Hmm? <laughs> okay, I better go look for money and settle him home. After all, you are the man of the house, like you claimed to be. So, go and look for money and settle him. Angela, why not take the title of man of the house already? Since I can't afford anything. Mm -mm. Let me eat, please. Because you need the food, I don't want to eat in peace.
Hey, bros. Well done, no. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, afternoon. I want to recharge 200 naira. 200? In credits. Okay, which method? Uh, okay, bros, I beg you, no verse. This is your business. How you they take run of like your income per day or in the day? Okay, no verse. You want to charge your airtime? I'll be coming out to interrogate me. Which one? No, 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 no. I just want. I want to start the business somewhere else. Why are they ask? Uh, no verse. You want to start the business somewhere else? Uh, no, be here. No, no, be around here. Somewhere, somewhere else. I don't want to know where you want to start. At. I just want to be sure that you're not here for a different thing. No, 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 no. Now why I say make you no verse? No, no, nothing. Okay. Well. The business is just like every other business that you know. Just as every other business you know. If you invest huge amount of money in it, then it will return huge amounts to you. Yeah. So that's to say, it depends on your yeah, what, you yes, what you invest. Okay. So now, like, like, how do you get your machines, like? Do you have to register with any company, banks, or anything? Uh, <clears throat> so, for all the whole business, is uh, the charge card and PS business you want to do. Are you for real? Philippe, it's, it's like you're not understanding me. That's the only business I can think of. I'm penniless. So it's the only thing I can start with any little amount of money. What well, is not that there's no money in recharge card business, just that you can't do it. You are too big for it. Yeah. Well, I I used to be big, but now I'm poor. I'm a poor guy. You are not poor, just that you refuse to collect money from your unreasonable and selfish woman you called your wife well philip uh, my wife is not the reason i'm here so i i came to know if you can you know, borrow me small small money let me start up the recharge card business i'll pay back you know i, I always pay, pay back go back to your wife she can help you okay go back Play your game, okay? Let's go. Play your game. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, play your game. Wait. What did you just say? That I want to venture into POS and research card business. <laughs> this is a joke, right? I can't remember laughing while saying it. No, sir. Don't get on my nerves. Don't! How can you think of such demeaning business to do? Demeaning business, you said. But I've been the one asking you for the money that I've been giving to you. No response. I can't even remember how many times I've asked you for that money. You are just being unreasonable. No, you are the one being so unreasonable. And you are the one getting on my nerves. Well, actually, I'm, I'm not here to nag or rant with you. I just want to tell you the business I want to venture into. Hmm? And I'm not here to solicit for your support. I know that's what you're thinking. That's what you're ranting. No, sir, you are not going to do that demeaning business, oh. Are you listening to me? Watch me. Not in this house. Never.
you mean? Um, you run pure as well? Yes. yes, yes. Oh, thank God. Mm, I need like 50,000 there. Um, fifty thousand. Yes. Are you sure it's possible. Okay. But I don't have enough cash on me. Mm. Uh, but just give me a few minutes. Let me go to that shop down there. The woman wants to pay in, so I'll have enough cash. Okay. Please be fast. Okay. okay. I have limited time. Sure. Sure. I will. Just give me a few minutes. Oh, please. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay, no problem. Hello. A recharge card and POS business. My dear. Can you imagine the shame? Eh? So me, Angela. I will now become a wife of a recharge card seller. God forbid. Well, I don't really blame him, you know. I mean, what would you have him do? Wait. <laughs> Is that why you don't want to come inside the shop? Hmm. I should have come inside the shop now. Maybe have a drink or two. And discuss that my husband is starting a common recharge card and pure ass business. In the presence of your, your, your sales girls. Is that what you want? Of all the businesses in town, it is Richard Card and Pure that this man sought to choose. I don't get it. Maybe that's the one he could afford. Or would you rather him do a POS business? That's still very demeaning of my person, Amaka. Come on. Then set up a business for him. I told you to help the poor man, but you refused. He's your husband, not mine. I'm done having this conversation with you. Since you don't want to be reasonable. So I should be the one to set up a business for my husband when he's the man. Can you listen to yourself? removed the table and chair I kept outside. I did. Why? I thought this recharge card and POS madness was a joke. I never knew you meant it. Okay, because you thought it was a joke, you had to remove what I kept outside. Listen to me, Nosa. There is no way, no way I will allow you to display such madness around this house. Never! It's okay. And what do you mean by that? You said I should not do my business around this vicinity. Mm -hmm. No problems. I won't. What is he up to again? I just called the village now and I was told you just sold your only piece of land in the village. I want to know why. My land, right? Our land, no sir. I'm still your wife. Okay, well, since I couldn't get um, monetary support from you or my friend, I decided to sell our mm -mm, to sell my land so I can use the money and invest in my POS and recharge card business. Hi. No sir. 
What is wrong with you? So for the businesses you could think of to put that money in, you still went ahead with that your stupid POS and recharge card selling business. Angela, I don't even know why you're ranting. The money I realized from the sale of the land is just 300,000. I have to manage it because it's not even up to what I'm looking for to invest in the business. Okay. Since the money is not what you wanted, why don't you give me the money to put in my boutique business? Angela. Hmm? Do you just talk to make sounds? Like, do you listen to yourself when you talk? I should give you the money and remain cashless. No, sir. I don't want this argument right now. Oh, okay. Fine. You've sold the land already. No problem. Just give me my own share of the proceeds. <laughs> I want to sleep. Good night. Okay. You want to what? You want to sleep? Ha! Ah, no, sir. You are not sleeping. You have to give me. Come and sleep. Let me sit. Wait, 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 wait. What did you just say? I said I saw your husband selling recharge card and running POS. His kiosk is very classy and fine. Where? At the roundabout leading to Asata. Hey! So, that public place is where Nosazo to go and start his useless business? Eh? What are you talking about? Nosa has chosen to publicly disgrace me! Eh? Asata! Hey! <laughs> Babe, stop this drama. This calls for a celebration. Please, come and pour me a drink, Biko. I'm done with this marriage. What are you talking about? What's this? Divorce papers. Yes, and you better sign them so that the process will formally begin. I do not want to answer your name again. Angela, why? You are asking me why. No, sir. It will never be well with whoever did this to you. That person really robbed you of your common sense. For you not to see that you really hurt me badly with that nonsense business you started. Angela, if my business is nonsense to you, why not come to my aid? Why propose a divorce? Okay, fine. Which one is okay, fine? I've heard you. Fine. But I can't remember hurting you in any way. All I wanted was to be useful. But since you can't help me, why don't you let me be? Well, this divorce is me letting you be. Sign them. Angela. Ange The divorce thing, you don't mean it, right? No, sir, you know I'm not ready for this conversation right now. I already told you that I am never going to be a wife to a recharge card seller. So please, sign those divorce papers. Babe, that's not fair. Why do you want to destroy all we've built over the years? <laughs> all we've built? Like what? Do you still have anything left in your name? The love we built. Mm. Why do you want to shatter it with this decision? No, sir. I was about to sleep before you started this your talk. Please, let me be. And go and face your recharge card and POS business. What if I refuse to sign with the huh? papers? No, sir. Don't try me, oh. Don't try me because you're going to see the other side of me. Angela, which other side of you haven't you shown me? Which? 
So happy, baby. You know, uh, there's so much money in this business. You know, I went on a seminar on how to run this POS and recharge card business. Mm. Hey, baby, you know, there's so much money in that business that people don't know of. Really? Yes, especially the recharge card business. You know, people forgot that recharge card is the primary needs of every human being on daily basis, like. I'm so happy. Ah, I tapped into the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> this is your excitement. How much did you gain today? Ah, uh, okay. After deducting mm -hmm. the cost of purchase, mm -hmm. I made a whooping sum of 2,500 naira. <laughs> Wait, what's that? So you're trying to tell me that 2,500 Naira is the reason for this jubilation? 2,500 is just the gain, not... Hey! No, sir. You are mad. No, sir. You have finally gone insane. 2,500 Naira is the reason you are jumping up and down. No, sir. Angela, see, I know it might be small. But for the first time, after a very long time, I'm becoming productive and useful to myself. I am happy. Hey, please go inside and change your clothes and come and wash these clothes for me. Ah, uh ah. -uh. And hey, hey, um, are you not going to give me some money from the 2,500 naira you made? Come, there is no food for me. Angela, how come there is no food for me? Wait. You want me to give you food? Me, Angela, give you food. God forbid. What do you mean by God forbid? You said you are very productive now and very useful to yourself. So I guess that includes you feeding yourself now. Eh? I am no longer going to feed you in this house. Never. Angela, why are you treating me like this? Why are you making my life this miserable? What did I do to deserve all this? Huh? <sighs> I am still waiting for you to sign those divorce papers. Please, don't waste my time.
How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What are you doing here? Okay, um, I stay down the street. Oh, yes. really? I came to inspect one of my projects. My newly acquired project. <laughs> You're the owner of this place? Yes, yes. <laughs> this place is big, oh. Yes, it's big. It's big enough. Yes. yes. Um, I've been meaning to ask you, the way you attend to your customers and um, your punctuality to business and all that, are you a graduate? Of course, I'm a oh, graduate. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is it. That is it. Because the way you attend to your customers is quite different from the other POS um, agents. I know. <laughs> yes. Um, that means someone can entrust you with something big. I, I don't understand. You will not understand. But if you don't mind, let's go to somewhere more conducive and discuss about it. No? Yes. No. Get into the car. Okay. All right. <laughs> So let's play. Calm down, guy. Wait, let me share this good news. What? Bro, I don't hammer. How? <laughs> if you see this guy, this guy is rich. He's on money. He took me to his house. Oh, boy. <laughs> I've never seen this kind of house in this town. I thought we are no longer in Nigeria. He is like, money is everywhere. Wait, 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 wait. Are you sure he's not ritualistic? Um, I I thought about it, but my condition now uh, I don't care. I just prayed over it and followed him. Okay. Since he has houses, this and that and that, what plan does he have for you? Good plan. So if he doesn't have plans for me, will I be telling so, you this? What are the plans? He has houses and establishments okay. in this town. Okay. And he has been looking for a manager. So, now he wants me to be his manager. <laughs> That's not all. Ha! He said he will give me a house and a car. Oh. Yeah! I don't blow. Oh, boy! I'm now I'm so a big for you. manager. <laughs> you are talking. You are... You are mine now. Come on. Now we are talking. I'm so happy for you. You are so happy for me. Of course. But you refuse to borrow me money to do I'll recharge come on. Business. I was just trying to push you so that you can get your money from your wife. Push so. I'll come on. I will show you Shaggy. You know my man. I'm now the manager man. to it. Come on, man. you know my man. Good news. <laughs> Let's play, Joe. Ah, 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 Sorry for pusa, you. Pusa. anything to do with house rent. Huh? The landlord was here. Oh. The landlord? Mm -hmm. He doesn't have anything to do with the house rent. Then I'm not interested in anything you have to say. And for your information, the landlord gave us just one week before he takes legal actions on us. But you should have at least listened to what I have. I said I am not interested. Simple. Mm. Uh -uh. Go and take your recharge card and POS petty talks to it, whoever it, is interested it, in them. It's okay, it's okay. <sighs> Calm down. It's not the end of the world yet. Amaka, 
if they demolish that new boutique, ah. I am finished. I am dead. I'm, I'm gone. Do you know how much I invested in all the clothes I have in there? Do you know? Why, 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 why would they even want to demolish it? Why? What? You said they want to use the space for something else. That's what I was told. But maybe if we plead with the owner, he can just understand and consider me now, right? Yes. How are we going to find the owner? Well, I know him, but he's a very big man. That's the problem. Oh. Eh? Before I can even get the opportunity to see him, I have to go to a lot of people. This is too much for me. Come on, this is too much. I, what are we going to do I now? I don't know. I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. Like, I, I'm, 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 I'm running mad. I don't know. Why, why, why is this happening to me? Why? I'm like, all the money I have, I put in that boutique. Don't you get hey, like, hey, hey. It's hey, okay. It's know. okay. It's okay. Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? We'll find a way. We'll find a way. What is it? Talk to me now. What's going on? Just leave me alone, please. You can't solve my problem. Just go. Angela, why not try me? Oga, oh, this is not recharge card or SIM card issue. I need to focus and think. I'm so confused right now. Just go. Leave me, please. It, it, it's, it's fine. It's okay. It's fine. Sorry, I asked. Okay, I... I have issue with the new place I paid for my boutique business. Can you imagine? After paying for the place and using the whole money I have to buy clothes and stock the shop, they now said they want to they want to demolish the place. Ah. Why? It happens that um the person that was in charge when I paid is no longer in charge. And the owner now said that he wants to use the place for another thing. He has now given orders for it to be demolished. This, this is serious. Um, where is the place to be precise? Chim Avenue. Chim Avenue. Opposite Mr. Vicks. Yes, that's the place. But. How did you know about it? I mean, the whole thing going on there. <clears throat> Just chill. It won't be demolished. I don't understand. Has this man started smoking? that there's been a new order about the shop I paid for. It's no longer going to be demolished. <laughs> That's good. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Like super, super excited. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I thank God for everything. But hey. Do you have a hand in this? I don't understand. Okay. You correctly described my shop and you said you were going to do something about it. Sure, I did. I don't understand. How? You know, if you had allowed me to share the good news I came back with a few weeks ago, I would have told you that I now manage of Okago properties, which includes the plaza where you paid for a shop. I was the one that gave the order for it to be demolished. But after discovering that you paid for a space, I changed my mind. Oh my God. 
you know chief okago farewell he used to patronize my demeaning pos and recharge card business until he offered to help he made me his manager i now control 85 percent of his properties do you know the most beautiful part of this whole story? He gave me a house and a car. By the special grace of God, I'll be moving in by next week. You see, Angela, my God didn't die. My God never fails. Life. You sent me 850,000 Naira. Um, well, it's for the house rent. Are you not supposed to pay to the landlord yourself? Well, it happens to be that the man I thought was my landlord isn't my landlord. Angela, you are the owner of this house. And you allow me to pay the rent to you for four years. Four years, Angela. My God. Wait. You thought I would never find out. Hmm? Too bad. I've always known. I intentionally paid the rents to you. But now I know the kind of human being you are. You're so terrible, babe. Babe, I... Uh... Babe, I, I, I can exp explain. Hmm? It's so good. Babe! Babe, I... You better find a way to apologize to that man. Eh? How can you be so heartless and inconsiderate? So you mean you have been collecting rent from that man when you and I know that this house was given to you by your late father? Eh? How can you be so heartless? <sighs> Amoka, I didn't call you here to start reprimanding me. You deserve more than a reprimand. How can you be so mean and heartless to your own husband? You claim you love him, but it's only yourself that you love and no one else. Amaka! Don't Amaka me! I will never treat my husband the way you treat yours. I remember when he was out of business, I was the one who supported him until we burst back. You are the reason women in our society are given bad names, as if we don't stand by our men. How can you be so mean and heartless? Look, I'm so sorry. It's not me that you should apologize to. It's your husband that deserves that apology. The one you have turned into nothing. I cannot be friends with you anymore. You are a bad influence. Amaka.
here's the divorce papers. I've signed them. Please. Babe, Angela, like seriously, are you kidding me? Babe, please. I'm sorry. Isn't divorce what you wanted? No, please. It's not. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for the way I have behaved towards you. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Please, my love. Angela, you know, the funny thing is that I still love you. Despite all you did to me. But the truth is that we can't, we can't be together anymore. Babe, I'm, I'm so sorry, okay? I'm sorry for being so stupid and selfish. I don't even know what came over me. I'm sorry, my dear husband. I, I beg of you, please don't divorce me. Please, okay? I'm so sorry. I forgive you, but I still have to move on with my life. No, babe. Please. Please. I... I'm so ashamed of myself that after everything I did to you, you still found it in your heart to forgive me. This is something I know I will never do. Look at you doing it with ease. I'm so sorry, my love. Please forgive me. I ask you don't leave me, okay? Please. I, okay, I will give you all the money in my possession, everything. At this level, I don't need your money. I've made enough that can sustain me a lifetime. You know what? I'll be leaving your house first thing tomorrow morning. No. No, please, babe. Listen, babe, let's 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 figure this out, okay? Listen to me, babe. Babe, you, you said you're forgiving me, okay? Let's 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 just figure this out. Look at me now. Babe, please. Babe! Babe, no, you can't. Oh. I know this house belongs to me, but by virtue of marriage, I should have relinquished it to you. I have now seen how my greediness and selfishness has ruined my marriage to an irreparable state. I should be the one to leave and not you, Nosa. Because you do not deserve a terrible woman like myself. Goodbye, Nosa. Stop. Um, when I said I forgive, I should have done that with all my heart. Just like the way our Father in Heaven forgives. At the breaking of every dawn, He gives us second chances, even when we don't deserve it. Who am I not to give you a second chance, Angela? You can stay. I can stay. Of course, it's your house, so you have every right to stay. 
No. It's your house. You decide who stays and who doesn't. So, you stay. Thank you, Eve. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. But there are conditions. What are the conditions? I am willing to do anything for you, babe. Anything. Okay. First, you will give me my meal at due time. On no condition should I demand for food. Secondly, you're not going to deprive me of sex. Again. You always keep my clothes clean and well ironed. You always keep the house tidy. You must for no reason keep late nights and I will always know your whereabouts. You will refrain from arguing with me and allow me correct you whenever you're wrong. You must always give me proper accounting on how you spend money and in no condition will you overspend or spend extravagantly. You must never check my phone and I will not check yours so we can respect each other's privacy. You must be supportive to me and I to you in business decision making or whatever decision that brings progress to our family. And lastly, you must always call me sweet names like sugar pie, honey pie, my treasure, my jewel, baby boo, sadi, whenever we're making love. These are the 10 rules. Hope I'm well understood. Yes, baby. I will keep to the Ten Commandments. I promise with my life. Good. Then we can live in peace and harmony. <laughs> I love you more. Okay. Let's get your things back inside. Okay. okay.